were given certain set of solution that where we started with and we made some change or end up with something else. This is a really good a typical uh, problem to solve because this problem pops up quite often and on the SAT there are quite a few problems look like this. All right, so let's get started. We were given 20 gallon of 6%. Okay, so this is where we're starting point. Okay, and then we're going to end up with something else. Let's put it over here. Okay, this is end. And in between we have a change. We did something to it. Okay, in our case, we actually added something, okay. and then equal to this. So let's start it where we have. So the amount uh, we have is ten, twenty gallon uh, with six percent of acid. So amount acid in the solution, we got to calculate it. Okay, so it's twenty gallons times zero point zero six. Now notice I put the 6% converted into a decimal. 6%, the 6, you can't really use 6 because it's not a number per se. It's a, it's a 6 over 100. You got to calculate it into a decimal first. So this is the amount of acid that we have. Okay. We were asked how many gallon of 1% we have to add. Let's see. We don't know that. Let's call it X. Okay. So here's the 20 gallons. All together is 20 gallons. And the amount of acid is only 6%. Uh, in this case, it's 1.2 gallon if you multiply it out. This is our acid. And we're going to do the same thing here, except this time we have a 1%. So it's 1% times the x gallon. Okay, so we're going to add uh, how much acid? We have 0 0.01 times x gallon. We don't know what x is, so it's x gallon. Okay, what do we have end up? The Here's a little tricky uh, problem over here. We have end up with a 3%, but how much do we have all together? This is a question. How much do we have together? Well, we had a 20 to begin with, and then we added x gallons. So in order to kind of calculate the s thing in here, you actually have to do 20 plus x before you can multiply 0 0.03. That's the 3%. Now from here, we have a complete equation with only one variable. It's pretty easy to solve. So 90% of the work is done if you get the equation over here. Let's solve it at 1.2 plus 0.01x is equal to, let's distribute it here. So I have 0.03x plus 0 0.6. If you don't see the numbers, all I did is distribute it in here, and you can pause the pause button, push the pause button. From here, um, I'm going to solve and move this one over. I have a 0.02x equal to 0 0.6. Okay, so I just subtracted 0.6 on both sides. And from here, if you divide it, x is equal to 30 gallons, I believe. And let's make sure. 0 0.02 times 30, 6, 0, I have two decimals, right? 1 and 2, so it's 0 0.6. Okay, so check it out. Here's my answer. I have to add I have to add 30 gallons, basically. Okay, so here I'll just calculate where it is. 30 gallons of 1% um, I need to add. Add it. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.